2017 Volkswagen Jetta. So the problem was, I had a problem on this one the other day and I did not have time to stick around and work on it for its signal drivability, not drivability, but actual signal receiving or valve operation in the compressor. This is a variable displacement compressor on here. Let's see if I can zoom in down there. Come on, zoom in. Go down. Now I'm gonna pan off to where the valve is. And let's see if I could see anywhere. Well, you see that black with the yellow white trace wire? That is, you can't really see it. No, it's actually, it's connected to it. There's a zip tie from the white uh, black wire yellow trace now as we're going up where you see the black connector with the green stripe there's a zip tie right there and that's where the other signal wire comes down and goes into that black connector with the green trace on it right there going into the compressor that is where your valve is for varying the displacement and when it gets a pulse width modulated signal it will vary the displacement compressor now here's the scenario I ran into the other day, and this is what happened. This vehicle wasn't an accident. All the wiring was off, it had a dead battery, it's been jump started. Funny things happen. Now when I charged this vehicle up, I charged it up, and it's 525 grams, and turned on the AC, no pressure difference. It was 62 PSI, 62 PSI, high side and low side. Nothing was happening. So I go, okay, there must be a wire left off somewhere. So our uh, pressure switch was connected up. Often body shops will leave the ambient air temperature right there. Let's see if I get my finger on it, right there. Many times uh, a body shop, after doing a bumper, will leave that disconnected, or sometimes off, and you'll get no compressor operation. But in this case, I had, clutch operation so there was enough pressure the pressure switch was getting the signal and usually as far as I know without going into the operations manual of this make model if the ambient sensor was left off it wouldn't engage the clutch I think I am just guesstimating here but let's say it's all connected up it was engaging the clutch so that means you at least have one or two ounces of refrigerant in the system to bring the pressure level above say 44 PSI minimum pressure requirements for the system to say, okay, I have refrigerant I can turn on. The system engages the clutch. The clutch is spinning, but you look at your gauges and your gauges are still equal, whether it's 60 and 60, 70 and 70, 90 and 90, no change at all. And you can turn the AC off and on and you can see the clutch face down here engage and spin but you have no movement on your gauges uh, by the compressor engaging and disengaging so unfortunately when I was here the other day I didn't have this in my vehicle so I said hey I don't have time to come back you're gonna have to send it if you can't clear the code and it's not a code code problem and you can't force engage it with your software that you have here in the shop you're gonna have to send it out because my dumb ass left my stuff back at home. So I went over to another shop and uh, they just said, I guess it started working. So here's the scenario. They said, oh, it's just low on charge. And uh, that's why it wasn't working. Uh, I don't think so. Because I actually took out my charge and I did it twice. And I weigh my container before it goes on to scale. I weigh it on using the scale and then when I'm disconnected, I reweigh my scale, I reweigh my tank to make sure my tank before and my tank after matches the number of the weigh-in charge. So I do a triple redundancy on uh, scaling and I did the whole procedure twice. And so what I can see, here's a fluke thing that happens sometimes. The body control module, the HVAC control module or ECM or something, something was not connected or it took a while from the battery being dead and jumped you get a fluky situation where a signal never goes to a certain device whether it's a emissions device 
it could be a suspension controlling device it could be even your your windows not rolling up and down and then the next day when you start it up the item starts working well in this case it was either it wasn't getting a, a signal to the solenoid that controls the duty cycle to control the displacement of the compressor or maybe that valve was stuck at the time when I was testing it but the end case scenario was it goes over to a tire shop they look at it and say oh it's low on charge I know it's not low on charge and I know it's cycling and I had dead if it was low on charge and even if I put two ounces in there that would have been enough to kick off the signal I would have had 60 psi on one side but the compressor engaged and if the displacement was working and it went to full displacement to try to cool the high side would have went up a little bit say the 70 psi and the low side would have went way low say the 19 psi or so you still would have had a change in displacement and then you have the other scenario say it got driven over the next day to a shop or even yourself you came back and look at the vehicle the next day you hooked up your gauges the next in for some reason all of a sudden the valve is working it's getting the signal there what you will see on your gauges because the, the mornings here are cold now we're in the 50s I could see it going over to a shop or another technician looking at it and he hooks up his gauges and he's not used to wintertime stuff because this is a tire shop and remember you're you're shuffling air conditioning at a tile shop not of the highest levels um, he would see say 90 psi on the high side because it's only 50 some degrees outside and he go oh the AC charge is low when in fact it's not and he just performs a recover and a recharge and say yep it's working it was only a low AC charge without actually measuring what came out of there but this was a real world scenario where because I didn't have the tool I needed with me at the time I could not prove my scenario whether the signal was not getting there or the valve was sticking if I would have hooked up my tool and I would command it to up the duty cycle and on my gauges I would have all of a sudden seen the low side go down and the high side go up if I would have hooked up my connector to that valve and I command it to increase the duty cycle so it increased displacement and my gauges did not move then I would say it was the valve or you can test and back print pin the actual wire itself at the connector and you can read a duty cycle coming from the car commanding it that's another way but all in all the whole entire time the compressor clutch that you can see down there was actually spinning and spinning freely by hand uh, so if you wanted to know if the compressor was actually bad I was very fearful that they were going to send it to a shop and they would have got it and if that signal was not going to that valve or the valve was sealed shops nine times out of ten unfortunately just replaced the compressor for nothing more than this little solenoid valve that's on the side located on the side <clears throat> and that's what I wanted to prove or disprove but when I cleaned out my car and put everything back in this was one of the items that did not get this is actually that one you see that's four seasons it's just under a different knockoff brand name white labeled and it was like thirty dollars cheaper than buying the four seasons one exact same thing when you open them up they have all the same connectors it's the same tool this was just thirty dollars cheaper so it was under five hundred dollars four hundred and something it was and i think the four seasons one is a high 400s and this was just came in over 400 uh, so I saved money on by not getting the logo with a brand name on it and uh, for those who you are looking into buying one of these and if you are looking into buying one of these because you don't want to be one of those guys who are selling compressors when it's no more than a $30 little valve ripping customers off um, there's the part number you can look this up google it find it purchase it I'm not giving you no links I'm not associated with the company but if you do AC this is a must-have tool every shop has to have one if you don't have one go flip burgers scrub toilets 
or dump out garbage or leave AC alone. Just like a refrigerant analyzer. If you don't have one, go scrub toilets, take out garbage, or flip burgers. See you guys. Adios.